All right. This is Clayton Crane. This is what I do on my free time. I draw pancakes. I draw the mundane. Uh, and uh, you can too. I have that pinky is going to town over there on the alt button and that's I'm selecting colors. At first I was selecting from my photo, but as I began working and getting further into the illustration, I no longer have to use that. Uh, it isn't superheroes, but if you can draw some pancakes that, that make them look good in your story, that's what I care about. I care about sequential artwork. Being able to draw the mundane, it tends to make it uh, sell, you know? Like you can sell the idea of a awesome superhero if you can draw something as mundane as a still life you know when i was younger i always thought ah I'm gonna have to draw some flowers in a vase it seemed kind of foolish but now got a little older i'm like let's draw some flowers let's draw some demons with flowers because if you can draw some cool demons i bet you can draw some kick-ass flowers Well, this is all single layer. Uh, there's uh, no need to get too complicated. Uh, you just want to practice. I mean, you, you want to figure out what Photoshop feels like. It's best to stay in one single layer until you're ready to add other layers. Until in your mind you go, hey, uh, I need to brighten this up. I'm going to add a screen layer or you can add a color dodge layer with a gray tone to brighten it up. The idea is that you just introduce yourself to Photoshop and get a feel for it. Start with a normal layer, use a big brush to start out, and then work your way towards uh, the other brushes. And just introduce yourself to it slowly, don't get overwhelmed. And don't think about how I start out a illustration to get what you want. What's the best way that you tend to work? Do you like to start black or does that seem weird? Do you like to start mid-tones? Really up to you, but this is how I do it. I start black, start big, work my way small. Well, check out the next ones.